Bangkok was once home to a plethora of artis artisan communities practicing age-old traditions, and each was well known for a particular art or craft. However, as Bangkok continues to modernize, young people simply don't wish to enter such professions or trades anymore. Consequently, there's been a rapid decline in the number of neighborhoods practicing such arts. Here in Tombori, Bangkok, Thailand, Few of these areas noted for their craftsmanship remain, but for how much longer? For example, there's a community making sweetened bale fruit just near Wat Arun. There's another making traditional flutes, another pounding rice grains used in traditional sweet snacks, but we're gonna visit a community called Ban Bu, a community that settled here in 1767 after fleeing a Yutia, which was being ransacked by the Burmese. The people traditionally made Canlong Hin, stone polished bronzeware, and I've heard there's only one family left. Let's find out. So I'm here today with a good friend of mine, Dan of Dan Bangkok. I have quite a lot of knowledge about this place. I love taking people about, but every now and then I meet someone who has at least, at least as much knowledge as me, if not twice as much. It's always good to be shown about a few places where you've never been before. I think that's the first person who's ever asked for my, my YouTube channel, so there we go. And this is the last community left. Not only is this the last community left, but this will be the last household doing this too. Bang Boo community. Used to be many, many families here doing the arduous and hard labor making the bronze bowls, but not anymore. Let's see what's left. Wow, what a nice old community. Remember kids, hat on when it's raining. Just to a little side alley. Have a look. Okay, so this is Klong Bangkok Noi. I'll do some B roll and a voiceover because a little story to tell. This canal here was actually the original course of the river until 1552 when the king of the time in Ayutthaya ordered a clung lat or a shortcut canal to be dug. I mean, if you look, the original course of the river was Noi Canal, Bangkok Noi Canal and Bangkok Yai Canal and that was a pretty big horseshoe loop. So when the canal was cut, this cut a considerable amount, amount of time uh, it took to get to Ayutthaya. Now over time, the banks widened and the, the river took the new course. It used to be a beautifully serene scene here uh, when folks arrived from Ayutthaya and for the next 20, 30, 40 years thereafter uh, there were houseboats lying in the canal, there was a floating market and probably until early the early 1970s actually this was a place of rice fields and fruit orchards and like I said serenity and beauty. This lovely lady asked us to come in and have a look at her wonderful business. I don't hand polish anymore. That stopped about 80 years ago for this particular place, but they do still make some very, very high-end, handmade, handcrafted items. This is a Okay. What basin? Oh, wash basin. Yeah, wash basin. We have so many products, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. This is all the stainless steel. So the family here before World War II used to make the same kind of stone finished bowls. Now they make the stainless steel ones. And you can see that the workmanship, the workmanship is pretty incredible. I mean, before this time, they were kind of working parallel, each of them, so the same level. But they decide to stop Khan Long Hin and they move on. So there's okay. only one left and they just push those guys to be number one. Uh, so it's only one left. This is bronze, but uh, brass, the sound is not echo. This is brass. Okay. The sound is uh, not echo. Ah. 
Very different. Yeah, and the price is very different. I bet it is. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> because this is we can use uh, in the Thai, Thai, Thai music. Thai. Yes, that, yes. In the in the band. Yes. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really echoey, right? Really good. Yeah, yeah. very nice sound. This is oh, this bronze. bronze yeah, okay. not this is brass. Okay, bronze is the better. Bronze is a uh, very nice sound. Uh, yes. Even okay. though the the bronze bowl, the sound is very nice also. Mm, okay. But brass is not not equal sound. Uh. It's like I've just walked into sauna world and in that sauna world there's a sauna. I've gone into the sauna, I've climbed in and within that sauna there's another sauna. Guess what? Another sauna lies within and that's the one I'm in. This is part of the Otop One Tambon, One Product. Bamboo Collection Stainless Factory. A nice big one. I read about this, this uh, craft place, the, the mask making place, that very traditional in, in, in Thailand. Look. And you can actually come and make these things yourself and paint them, which it's got to be a bit of a better experience to going into the shopping centre. You go in the shopping centre and you're playing. You're painting bears or cows or something like that, but you come here and you're painting some really cool things from Thai literature and, and, and Thai history. Got to be a better experience. There's a, just a random artist's house and out the back he's got a little balcony on the river. It, it's not too dissimilar to Ban Salapin, but it's not too far away from here. It's a little bit more famous. This is the place we came to see, but unfortunately there was a big lock on the door and it was closed, but... Suddenly, as if by magic, the shopkeeper appeared. Get the crafts from the old fellow who runs the place and makes all this. He's not very well today, but um, the lady's just come along and said, please, 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 I'll unlock it and come and have a look. So when you want a proper chip at the start, this is what they use. Sorry for the ice cream. It's really hot today, and I got this from Jimmy. And this is where they eat it, make it hot. Well, this is so hot in here, but can you imagine when the furnace is going and everything's going on? This is why nobody does it anymore. It's hot enough inside anyway, but here, wowzers. So this is what an old workshop looks like. As you can see, I mean, these days they've got a couple of fans about, but... They don't do that much good. I mean, there's fans everywhere, but it's going to get hotter than hell in this place. And some would say very much worth it for the stuff that they can produce. But as I said, this is literally the long, last household making like this. We've seen the other place, they're all making stainless steel now, but the, the handmade and stone finish, this is the last place, look. The ancient art of stone polished bronzeware requires expertise and many different procedures, mixing copper and tin at the ratio of seven to two, beating it into metal plates with hammers, heating it in a charcoal fire, and then basically two old geezers bashing the absolute crap out of it in really hot, laborious, tedious conditions, eventually forming the plate into the desired shapes. smoothing the uneven edges and polishing the service this this takes an awful long time in the past every family in this community made long hidden for a living now there is one family left into this chair for second second process and that's take three days jimmy mm -hmm. this is what they use copper okay the book i'm not sure how you call it in tin, english tin tin oh yeah 
copper, tin, copper and what the remaining of the broken part, they have to mix these three together. Okay. This broken part from it. And this will make the bronze, yeah? They make this special material. And then after you got this, they have to shape it up into this. They have to shape it up into this one and yep. the second one. You know, when they hit with the iron hammer. Uh -huh. I think it's if they hit with a wood hammer, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, then it's become this. So it's still like really uneven skin. So they have to make it even skin. skin. Okay, Better yeah. skin outside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then they have to take it. Just scrub it. And then you will see the golden color inside. Really beautiful there. Mm. Then you have to scrub the top. Yeah. To make it smooth. And usually these are sold as more decorative items these days because they're quite expensive, right? Yeah. But some of these are absolutely beautiful. Look at the the reflective qualities of that hand polished bronze bowl. Look at that. Very beautiful. But each of them is unique because they don't have exact hundred percent same percentage of what they mix and it will come out like that. Sounds great. Oh, quite easy. This one, uh, this one. Oh. I feel the need uh, to buy some kind of souvenir. Mixed up copper, tin. And this is what is broken off from maybe one of these. This is an unusable because it's broken. So she was just telling us that in 2006 there was a really big fire here. There was a, a kid just over there was making an omelette and the oil went pop, pop, pop. Created a fire and the kid ran off and just kind of left it and it burnt down this, well, a lot of this alleyway burnt down a few shops and they actually had a storefront here as well it burnt down that as well but um yeah this is the last one left unfortunately and if you want to buy one they're not cheap little small ones like that are a thousand five hundred for the smallest go up to about eight and a half ten fifteen plus but they really are remarkable pieces of, of artwork and 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 labor intensive um but if you've got tight in-laws and you want to buy them a very special present I'd honestly recommend coming here. It's about a thousand and a half. That's about eight and a half to give you an example. But for example, during the recent APEC meeting, um, the Thai ambassador ordered 35 of the big ones um, as a very, very special ambassadorial gift to give to other ambassadors. This place and the products they do is still held in very high esteem. Problem is, like I said, it's very labor intensive work and much like the Sam Law, the cycle, rickshaw in some of the smaller towns in Thailand, this place is going by the wayside a little bit. It's the last generation of people doing this. So unless someone steps forward or another family comes to the fray and says, I'm gonna do this. Well, sadly, it's gone because it's simply just too hot. Younger people can find better working conditions in, in aircon or what well, just better conditions in general. The lady was telling us that they just can't find anyone to do it. Loads of people have come in from real youngsters to people slightly older, but what they find with the youngsters, I think the longest one lasted just over a day or a full day. It was too hot. It was too laborious. Just couldn't handle it. With that in mind, if you're watching this in your time, you do know somebody who loves the intense heat, but would try to, would like to actually joking aside would actually like to continue a beautiful old Thai tradition even would like to try this as a career if you've got a lazy teenager and you think they need to kick up the arse and to get into a career like this then I'll put the details in below please do give this place a call they would love to have to somebody to continue the tradition this place is great another uh, step back into the past if you like and um yeah, thanks to Dan for bringing me here. Wherever he goes, people seem to like him and get on well with him. I think he's really respectful. So, a 
good wandering companion, I think. Just missed the gangster pigeon robbing the fish food place. The pigeon was right inside that hole over there. Gangster pigeon, gangster pigeon. Do, 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 do. Oh, well, this is lovely. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere without him chatting up the locals. Well, he's a local himself and he does it rather well. It's uh, it's pretty nice to see. You want it in the ice as well? Ah, uh, cup, cup, our cup. Can cup. Say more later. Yeah, me cup. Now, cup Pepsi. Cup Pepsi, you know. Nice iced bag of Pepsi. Do you, do you know what? This is strange because, as I looked at this from back there, Dan, I thought, oh look, they've got a community Muay Thai boxing ring. <laughs> and then as I got closer, I thought, no, they haven't. No, I haven't seen this before at all, mate. Interesting. Wow. Okay, so that's a really old market, look, with all the places around it in the market square. It has been saying this is one of the kai that they don't have any pole in the middle. It's their special art form, because I think you may have something like this in Europe. Yes. But we don't have it here. That, and only one market that has it inside. Okay. Mate, for, for me, do you know what fascinates me? Is all the old wood up there. That's how I know this is an old building, look, yes. the way yes. that it's built. It's like an old barn. This place has got a real haunting beauty and when I say the last one's left you can take that as you will with the two old ladies sitting in the entrance but I mean this place when when Bangkok Noi Canal was the main transportation route this market Watong market used to be an important trading hub for Chinese and Thai villagers and Muslims from the opposite side of the canal who sold and exchanged goods this place nobody knows how old it is they say 100 years but honestly every old market in and around bangkok and thailand is called the 100 year old market i would suggest this place is quite a lot older than 100 years but if you know let me know please in the comments below thank you funny enough i was just reading about this market a couple of days ago and how it's a dead market with covid people just went home and stopped stopped coming here every day and since then no one's came back really there's a little shop up here, a really old, traditional pharmacist, and, and that's about it. That's about all that's left of this dying market, so... Fingers crossed someone does an initiative and tries to bring it back, but we'll see. In the past, male residents practiced a martial art in this community called Krabi Krabong. To prepare for wars uh, against the Burmese, against the Vietnamese, against Patani, or wherever. However, only one school or one teacher remains, and that's teacher Tong School. This school teaches techniques passed down from Muslim soldiers in King Daxin the Great's army. And again, another tradition that let's hope it stays alive. We appear to have stumbled into the back way into the Tomboy Sheds, the main place where they fix trains and all the old steam trains as well. If you are a train enthusiast, then you'd be in heaven here. You can see, you can see people working on trains, you can see all sorts of different trains coming in here. Okay, so these are where the trains get fixed. Right? And just near here, Tombori Railway Station, and this is the station that goes over. We get the train if you want to go over to Kanchanaburi. I'm Vladimir Kanikov, from the station of Kanikov. Today, we are at the station of Kanikov. This is the station of Kanikov. This is the station of Kanikov. 
หัวจัดมีเซลล์นะครับที่มีอายุใช้งานมากที่สุดนะครับแล้วก็ค่อนข้างจะใช้เป็นหลักนะฮะอันนี้นะครับก็คือ General Electric UM 1 2 c นะครับอันนี้หมายเลข4 0 4 8นะฮะนำเข้ามาปีพุทธศักราช2509นะครับเป็นล็อตที่2ล็อตที่1นะครับก็จะมีตั้งแต่4001ถึง4040นะครับแล้วก็4041ถึง4050เนี่ยจะนำเข้ามาเป็นล็อตที่2นะครับรุ่นล็อตแรกนะฮะจะนำเข้ามาปี2507นะครับคันนี้นี่ผลิตที่รับแพทซิเวเนียยูเอสเอนะครับเป็นรถจากสัญชาติอเมริกันแท้นะฮะอันนี้ติดตั้งเครื่องยนต์คัมมิ่นคดี 38L นะครับ500แรงม้าโดยมานะครับมีทั้งหมด2เครื่องยนต์นะฮะ so we got good guy here yes we do อันนี้นะครับเป็นหัวรถจักรเอาสตอมนะครับเอาเอาสตอมครับเอาสตอมเป็นของฝรั่งเศสนะฮะจริงๆแล้วในประเทศไทยเนี่ยจะมีเอาสตอมทั้งหมด4รุ่นนะครับมี113คันนะครับคันนี้นะฮะเป็นหมวด44นะครับ44มีตั้งแต่44 01ถึง4420นะครับคันนี้เป็นหมายเลข4416นะฮะคันนี้นะครับเป็นสีขาวนะฮะด้านหน้าล้วนๆน,นะครับเป็นเครื่องยนต์เทลสติกดั้งเดิมนะครับเอาสตอมมีการใช้งานเครื่องยนต์อยู่3แบบนะครับก็คือถ้าเป็นคาดขาวจะเป็นเครื่องยนต์เทลสติกดั้งเดิมจากโรงงานนะครับคาดสีน้ําเงินหรือสีฟ้านะครับจะเป็นเครื่องยนต์ MPU นะครับเป็นล็อตที่1 2ึ่และสนะครับแล้วก็คาดสีแดงจะเป็นเครื่องยนต์แคทเทอร์พิลล่านะครับแคทเทอร์พิลล่าเป็นเครื่องยนต์ที่กําลังสูงที่สุดของเอาสตอมนะครับจะมีกําลังอยู่ที่ประมาณ 2,900 แรงม้านะครับแล้วก็หัวจักรุ่นนี้นะครับจะมีรุ่นพิเศษอยู่รุ่นหนึ่งนะครับก็คือหมวด42นะครับก็คือ4201ถึง4230นะครับเป็นการผลิตร่วมกันของ3บริษัทก็คือเอาสตอมเฮนเชลแล้วก็กรุ๊ปนะครับจะอยู่ด้านในโรงนะครับตอนนี้เราไม่สามารถเข้าไปด้านในได้นะฮะครับแล้วก็จะมีจุดสังเกตหลายอย่างนะครับเอาสตอมก็เช่นรุ่นนี้เป็น44นะครับก็คือจะมีขอสำหรับเรนนะชิดอยู่ด้านนอกแล้วก็มีสิ่งนี้นะครับอยู่44จะมีนะฮะแต่ก็จะมีบางคันนะครับที่ไม่มีก็คือเป็นรถประสบบัติเหตุนะครับแล้วก็เอาแคปของคันอื่นมาใส่แทนนะฮะแล้วก็เอาสตอมนะครับวิธีการแยกก็คือถ้าเป็นหมวด C1 นะครับ ELS จะไม่มีนะฮะอันนี้ไม่มีขอสําหรับเครนเป็น C2 นะครับจะอยู่ชิดด้านในนะครับแล้วก็ C3 จะชิดด้านนอกและไม่มีราวเหล็กนะครับโอเคฮะต่อกันที่หัวจักรไอ้น้ำเลยแล้วกันครับรถจักรไอ้น้ำผมอาจจะไม่ค่อยสร้างข้อมูลเท่าไหร่นะครับแต่ว่าเท่าที่ดูนะฮะคันนี้นะครับเป็นหัวรถจักรของบริษัทเอ่อคาวาสกินะฮะถ้าจะไม่ผิดหัวรถจักรคาวาสกินะครับผมเป็นหัวรถจักรคาวาสกินนะฮะสวยมากก็ร้อยห้าสิบครับคันนี้นะครับเป็นการวางล้อแบบแปซิฟิกนะฮะรุ่นนี้คือแปซิฟิกซีเอ็กห้าสิบนะครับวางล้อแบบสี่หกสองนะครับสี่อ๋อสี่ตัวนี้ครับผมสี่ล้อนําครับล้อหน้าอ๋อสี่หกวางรถไฟนะครับครับวางรถไฟนะครับครับเอาออกมาก่อนCareful of the train. Sometimes you come across places by accident. You think, "Wow, they they evoke memories." This just evokes a rather fantastic memory of when I was really into trains. I was into steam trains, and the the you know the the, the thought of the the old steam locomotives of England, the Mallard, the、um, Flying Scotsman, and stuff like that. And I can remember a really lovely trip with my father. To the York National Railway Railway Museum in York, where we walked underneath the train, and great day. Anyway, by accident, here we are at the Tombori Locomotive Storage Center, the Tombori Shed. Call it what you will. Now, I mean, there are loads of steam locomotives remaining in Thailand,、uh, mostly stored or displayed. Off the top of my head, out of the ones that are stored or, or, or on display in particular. Sai Yok in Kanchanaburi, Bangsai Arts and Crafts over near Ayutthaya, Makassan Depot's got to have a few. There's one at the River Queer Bridge, Lampang. I didn't get the train station. Can't remember. Chiang Mai. There's one you drive past it on the road. Science Museum in Ekamai, Chachen Sao Station, Hat Yai Station, Chatter Chat Park, and here at Tombori Sheds. I believe there are five functional. Trains here, three from World War Two. I should say that, that there were loads delivered during World War Two. Japan built between I think 1936 and 1939. They built a lot of these these steam trains, and I think a hundred and just over a hundred and ten were sent around different places in Southeast Asia to help transport troops and that sort of thing. Anyway, I digress. There's three here from World War Two and two from 
just after, I think the one that we looked at and, and, and the guy tells us about in just a minute was built by Kawasaki in 1950. Anyway, they're used on special excursions on, on prominent dates of the years to places like Ayutthaya, Chachin Sao, Kanchen Abori. If you want to know more details on that, Google Richard Barrow. He's very prominent on Facebook. He does a, a, a Thai train guide and very helpful it is too. And for the yearly shenanigans at the River Quay or sorry, River Kwai Bridge, the sound and light display they have on there every year. They use at least one or two of these these trains. <laughs> So he just started working here about a month, but he loves about the train, so he knows a lot about the train before he come here. So he's good. Freshly painted and ready to go. Should think that will be going to Kanchanaburi in the next couple of weeks. Look, workshops. So we've got all the batteries and all sorts of stuff. Hello there. Oh, he's asleep. Yeah, train station. We can walk in there. Let's see. Let's see if we can get right away through to the train station. You never know. You got all these different little tracks to go and fix things. Look, that's quite mad. Bloody carb. Hello. So we're just following the paths where the locals go and well this is one of them. Can pass over. Don't know. Oh, 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 yep, he said no bother. Here we go. Top on the carb. Now say you cross over to get to a train station in Thailand. <laughs> I know this is a ridiculous outro. I'm sitting here in my pants. I just thought I'd give you a different kind of outro today. I woke up, I waked and baked, had a coffee, and now I'm sitting on the stairs doing an outro. Not even into my camera, into my phone. But when I gave this video a title, I wasn't trying to be dramatic with the last ones left. I mean, just in this video alone, you've seen a, a number of people, a number of artisan crafts that are, that are fast disappearing. Maybe they're the last ones left. We've seen the last family doing the hand, hand polished bowls, the last steam engines or the operating. Bangkok is an ever-changing city where the existence of the past is perhaps a little too quickly fading away. Less so on the Tombori side, but that's going the same way now as well, because in Tombori, as it as it gentrifies the places, the the communities, the rituals and the practices are just fading away. Markets have been torn down, rail lines have been cut straight through communities, condos are being built where men used to gather to play takro. Department stores abandoned for shiny new moles such as Icon Siam. Look, I could go on all day about what's gone already and what's literally standing on the precipice ready to go even from the time when I first got here just over 20 years ago and, and, and the stuff that's no longer there or has been long since shut down I mean they are they're the last ones left they're the last communities left they're the last of those type of people when you go to towns such as Pet Boy Rat Boy up in Lampang you still have the odd Sam Law rider which is like a tuk-tuk it's a bicycle right it's a bike, bicycle rickshaw and it's an old man's game. No, nobody's doing it. No youngsters coming into the trades to, to do it. I mean, they can get a job in the aircon. They can get a job 
doing something else. They don't, they don't really need to be doing these things anymore. But yeah, but, 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 but. Stay away from that one. But what can we do about it? What can we? What can we? What can? What can you? You ain't seen me, right? Uh, what can? Sorry, I, what can we? Or what can you do about it? What can we? What can we do about it exactly? So you say nothing at all. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a town planner. Visit the communities, uh, patronise the communities. And I don't mean, you know, put them down in a, in a patronising manner. I mean, spend money there. You know, visit visit the communities, but spend money there. Local shops, uh, local cafes and restaurants. I know one thing. When the memories of the past are gone and everything has gone, the, the architecture, the, like I said, the rituals, the practice, the artisans. And when we walk through broken memories of an ever modernized city that looks like everywhere else in the world i personally will think about this time right now for this is the time we're sure a lot of stuff has gone and faded into the his into history but there's a lot still here and there's an awful lot like i said standing on the precipice standing on the edge the hand polished bronze bowls today for example last family left the geezer's doing it mate you should see the state of them they're they're yeah, they're, they're, they're getting on a bit. They're getting on a bit, shall we say. You saw in the videos, I mean, even the trains as well, the last five operating steam trains in Thailand. Um, and, and these people, the old people by the market, the market itself. And I remember this time when it was still here because Bangkok, old Bangkok is fast disappearing. I'm sure Tom Bori will too. Don't know what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. The video, the title, all that. Bring it together. Gotcha. So... The point being, you go around Bangkok and I'm not going to do that again. For these are the last ones left. For these are the last ones left. These are the last ones left. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Me, please like, share, and subscribe, and join me for the next video. Very good, very good, very good.